two be ab, fifteen of ab, uh, corresponds to many happy occasions. So in the Gemara, <coughs> Triket Tanit speaks about it. That what is the significance of to be ab? So over there it explains that going back to the history, right? Uh, it was the night that it was the day that girls would come and go to a place with the Bahurim and they would, you know, get to know each other for the sake of marriage. And the way that they did it was very unique. That they would, all the girls would dress the same and they would go and based on what they had to offer, they would offer themselves. That yes, we look good, we are from good family and those that went from a good family or they didn't look that, you know, beautiful, they would say, just marry us for the sake of marriage. Now, going back to the history, before this, Tuba Av is significant because it was the day that Bnei Israel in the Midbar, they uh, understood it was the last year that Hashem forgave them. That they, every year they had to go and dog their own grave. And um, every year they were expected to die because of the sin of Meraglim, that they cried for no reason. They would go and uh, dog their grave on Tisha B'Av night. They would sleep there. And in the morning, those who were supposed to die, they would die. And those who were supposed to live, they would live till the, till the next year. The last year, Hashem had the Hamim on them, mercy, so they didn't die. So that's another significance that on the 15th of Av, once they saw the moon, they understood, no, they weren't mistaken. Uh, they didn't mix up the dates. Actually, Hashem forgave them. So Netibot Shalom explains uh, in a very unique way the significance of Tuba Av. He explains that Tuba Av is 40 days before the creation of the Olam. The creation of the Olam happened on 25th Av, Elul, exactly. And Tuba Av is 15, is 20, uh, sorry, 40, 40 days before the creation of the whole world. So what is the significance? Uh, there is a bat hole, there is a heavenly voice that goes out before a baby is born, 40 days before a baby is born, and it says that this baby is going to marry to another person. So it would make the zibuk, it would make the marriage it goes out. So uh, that is one of the reasons that girls would go out to say, yes, we are available. Now, deeper than that, it is the engagement of Bnei Israel with Hashem. Because it says in the Torah, in the parashat Bereshit, Bereshit bara elokim et hashamayim ve'et hares. Over there, Rashi explains that Bereshit because of Jews, Hashem created the whole world. So if there is no engagement, if Jews, uh, if Jews are not coming to declare that they are going to marry with Hashem, they are going to serve Hashem as their, uh, you know, as their uh, uh, chosen nation, then there is no point of creation. So that announcement, that engagement happened on Tuba'ab, according to Netivot Shalom. So Tuba'ab says, this is a gate of marriage, this is the gate of engagement of Am Israel with Hashem. And then there's another 40 days from Rosh Chodesh Elul, right, till Yom HaKippurim. And on Yom HaKippurim what happened? HaKadosh Baruch Hu forgave us, He gave us the uh, last sets of uh, Luchot, and <clears throat> that is the Sha'ar of Torah. So Netibot Shalom explains Tuba Ave is very significant because without this you know, acceptance of Hashem, right? Then there is no point of going through Yom, Yom Kippur. First you need to accept Hashem, and then you go to Yom Kippur, that's the actual marriage ceremony. So, more than this, Netibo Shalom explains that one has to take advantage of these nights after Tuba'ab, that the nights after Tuba'ab are going to be longer. So what's the point of that? Learning Torah. So that is again another way that we come and we become one with Hashem.